A busy day at the Dar es Salaam Health Center in the Dar es Salaam refugee camp in Bagasola, Chad. And among the many patients is baby Amina Osman, a one and a half year old Nigerian girl. Cradled by her mother, the little girl is oblivious of the struggles around her, including those of her mother and sister to literally keep her alive. We left Nigeria three months ago due to the Boko Haram attacks. We live in my degree, Borno State. It took us three months and six days to arrive at this refugee camp. Three months of little or no food took a toll on baby Amina. By the time her family arrived at the camp, she was a shell of her former self. She arrived here a month ago. She had respiratory complications. She could not breathe properly and was severely malnourished. She weighed just six kilos, yet she is one and a half years old. She couldn't stand on her own, let alone take a few steps. Doctors immediately put her under treatment. That treatment includes a daily feeding program with the necessary nutrition to nourish her frail body. Doctors here say they receive on average no less than 10 cases of severely malnourished children every week. Now it may sound like a green picture, but the success rate is remarkable. And baby Amina is a good example of that. We are told in that one month that she's been here, She's made remarkable progress. She has added, she now weighs nine kilos, and we are still following her recovery. She has two more weeks to go, after which we can determine whether to discharge her or observe her some more. Experts say more than 22,000 children are suffering severe acute malnutrition in Chad alone. For affected families, such as baby Aminas, those statistics mean loved ones little ones who know nothing about the conflict around them, but who nevertheless are paying a heavy price for it. Penina Karibe, CGTN, in Bagasola, Chad.